Yeah, so uh, good morning. Welcome back to another Crane Crazy video here on YouTube. Yes, I've, um, I've this is my final day in Tadley. Yeah, I got the uh, the call. I don't want to go into all the details about it, but yeah, basically I'm going to another job. I start on Monday in uh, Brentford. So I have actually been to this site before. Uh, they got two really tall cranes there. Well, when I was there, it was literally just after the first week after Christmas. I was there just to sort of cover because a couple of lads that were supposed to have gone there um, couldn't go. So I ended up going and I loved the crane that I was on. It was like around 60 meters tall. Um, a luffer, so it had the, the jib pointing in the air and the, the views were amazing. Like aircraft were flying in right in front of the the crane coming into land from Heathrow so that was really nice to see especially being an aviation geek and um, yeah I, I, I just I actually quite enjoyed it so um, yeah it would probably work out really good uh, but the views I'll, I'll be able to get from the crane will be incredible because it's going to be uh, well it is a 65 meter crane a 65 meter tall crane and it went up I think last, last week maybe the week before so I'm going to drive a new crane, probably about a two year contract at least because you'll see as the, the videos progress and how time goes on, how how the buildings are made. <laughs> it's no different to any other type of construction, no matter what you're building, you know, an airport, a theme park, a hotel, anything like that. You still got to start with like your footers in the ground. All of that's already been done, so I can't really show you. Um, but uh, as you've probably seen in like some of the fo footage I've, I've shown you, there's actually a concrete. Uh, I'll just spin you around anyway. <laughs> there's a concrete pad just here. So basically, this is going to be a co-op and um, some apartments on the top. So basically, what they do is with that, there was some shops I think here before. So they do the groundwork. They knock down what what was there before and flatten it, redo, dig all the land, put all the pipe work in the ground, flatten it all off again, but then they put like piles in it. So you see like the, I don't know if I'm pointing to them, but yeah, there's a, there's a couple of there. Well, there's four on each side on top of the pins. So you pin it in the ground. So basically it's a hole dug down, you put the pins in and then you fill them with concrete. So you get like a foundation. Um, it's basically, buildings are basically built on stilts uh in the ground so you know if any of the ground underneath erodes over time or anything the building would be able to still stand because of the size as well of the mass um the weight the con so then you pour um loads of concrete down but before that you put all steel rebar down and mech and you'll see all that on the uh on the next site i'm going to anyway because it's a massive concrete frame uh job so um <clears throat> Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited. It's it's a little bit closer to where I live as well, um, in in well, near High Wycombe, um, so that's not too bad. So I'll obviously get you some footage from the car on the way to work, where I park in, all that sort of stuff. A little walk. It won't be daily. I won't be doing like daily walks and just showing you. It'll be just I'll get the footage and then I could probably use like some of it as just um, like intro footage and that sort of thing um you know i could i could always do that still not actually at this time been finalized with uh, with work if i can actually go ahead and do this channel uh i've got to be careful with who i'm promoting and you know things like that i, I don't really know so at this time i'm still waiting for that but as soon as i can the the the, the channel be uh up and ready to go i've already got one video lined up if you've seen this you'd already know that but uh, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, the day for me, really, uh, to be honest. I came up the crane this morning, got me coffee and usual stuff. Uh, I will then now have to uh, lock up the crane, make sure it's safe for the other driver to come on Monday. Uh, leave the key for the crane uh, in the office down there. Uh, obviously tell the other driver the, the codes or tell site the codes for the, for the padlocks to get in. Um, yeah, that's basically about it, really. I might have to leave him a note just to tell him about the crane, what to expect and things. I like to normally do that, leave, leave, leave a little note just explaining, because we've got these blinds, basically. I've got these. So there's normally in a crane, they'd have blinds that pull down, but it's an older crane. So um, 
you could have it you could tint the windows yourself you just get some window tint from Halfords or something you could do it yourself which I keep meaning to do if I wasn't going on this new job so I bought some blinds actually a set of three the ones that are long ways there on the window a set of three one on the front and one on the other side and they just weren't good enough so work said oh well we'll send you some out so and then they sent these little ones here so again I've got another two of these one on this side one on the other side well, I've got me dice up there as well don't even know if I've shown you those <clears throat> excuse me so yeah I've got two there and then they sent me this stick on one the round one which you'd stick on a, a, a car windscreen or something um, or at the back normally and they're not good enough especially when the sun's bright so uh, yeah I'm, I might leave the other driver those in here I'm not I'm not bothered there's a fan down here but the crane normally comes supplied with a fan anyway I've got a um, adapter for me plugs for me iPhone socket and stuff already plugged down here which you can get for a couple of quid from Asda and places anyway um, and that's about it really I think I've left him the the glass cleaner and stuff but they normally have their own things I um, sweep up I sweep up before I leave as well make sure it's tidy for the other driver but yeah I've really enjoyed it on this side so I've been here about a month and yeah, I could have knocked it out of the park in about <laughs> I don't know six months maybe 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 less than that because once the building's actually built all you need to do is load up in the plaster plasterboard into the rooms or on, onto onto gantries you'll see that as well um you're uh, combi safe and all that sort of thing <laughs> it's massive three three ton pa platforms you gotta pick up and actually place into a building the crane i'm going on it should be a piece of cake to do it's so much easier with this type of crane to lift up a platform level and and then slide it into a building like 10 stories in the air but we do that that's what i do <laughs> you'll see all that we're on these little jobs you, you you know what you're picking up it's it's blocks and bricks and and mortar basically all the time tubs of muck uh, and then a bit of scaffold in between so they can scaffold out and then you do your planks which are these massive beams that come out and you just sort of load them out sorry i had to change my arm my arm was getting tired then um but that's about it really yeah you'll see a bit more in as the construction and craneage will go because on this site I'm going to there's actually two other cranes next to me and anyone that's watching this thinking well you film yourself at work and stuff but I won't be if I'm actually doing a lift I would not be doing like this at all I'll put the obviously the camera down on the side or uh, connect it to the top or magnetize it to something um, I'll, I'll, I'll be hands free so I need to make sure that the audio is great in fact at the moment I've taken you out of the media mod because um, it's doing my editing. I've just I've just filmed some footage actually with my phone playing some music. And you just couldn't hear anything. Terrible. So I need to get myself this Rode mic so I can clip it on my shirt or pol polo sh shirt if better. Because you've got the buttons and you can just clip it in the side. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just want to make sure that this footage is great for everyone to see because it's it's stunning what I see every day on a daily basis is just really really nice <laughs> with the weather and like the, the you know the size of the sites a lot of sites I've been on you you got multiple cranes like I was trying to explain so yeah the cr site I'm going on is actually got three cranes uh, one's the one I'm going on is a saddle jib same as basically this but actually as in craneage it's a bit smaller it's only got a 35 meter jib on it which I didn't even say before I should have said that when I said the height and the type of the crane. I don't know the model of the crane, I just know it's a saddle and it's got a 35 metre jib on it, which is the thing that sticks out there. Um, whereas this is a 45, so yeah, you tend to, if you're the taller you are, that you don't really want a really long jib. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the way you use it, basically. Like, you want a shorter jib, it's, it's, you know, but not too short that you can't do anything with it if that makes sense because normally the taller you are obviously you get the lean in the tower and stuff you don't want a massive jib because when you're picking up the weight you get the uh, deflection so obviously the jib will bend when you pick up the weight you don't want something that's like eight ton on the end of a 60 meter jib for instance because it's just <laughs> you gotta hold on <laughs> which yeah we don't really we just sit in the seat at the end of the day but yeah you'll see all this but yeah there is two other cranes and we do have a, um, a safety connection 
basically connected to the crane. Uh, it's, it's an anti-collision system. They're really good. All I do need to do is just glimpse down like you were looking at your sat nav and it will show you where the other cranes are. They'll normally be behind me doing a lift. Um, but I've always have to watch out. It's just like driving a car at the end of the day. <laughs> you get used to it, you know what I mean? You, you, then you sort of, it's your own little domain of, of being in the crane. But I'll show you one little last look at my view before I go. I won't show you any of the shutdown or leaving the site or anything because that's you know that's a personal work sort of thing. Seeing the manager and you know saying goodbye and you know I, I, it's, we don't tend to get much to be honest when we finish jobs. I mean I love to start a job and end the job. Normally sometimes around Christmas time when you finish in December and yeah you go into the office and you, the, most of the time there's no one there they've gone home early or anything <laughs> so yeah it's not like we get like loads of handshake golden handshakes and that sort of stuff it, it just doesn't happen so you've got to work for your money on the in the in this game so but yeah if you are interested in doing something like this just obviously just let me know comment down below you know stick it in the comments I, i'm gladly and I'm sure if there's other people watching, because at the moment I've got about 50 subscribers. In fact, I'll have a look. I'll have a look on my phone. I'm pretty sure I had 50 subscribers last last time I looked. I haven't even uploaded a video yet. So uh, it's, it's six. I just looked and it was 61. It's just gone to 65. So I've gained 65 subscribers without no videos in less than a week. Well, in less than a week. So like what three days that's not bad <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed the content even if it's just showing a little bit of the crane and, and talking about something you're all learning something that you wouldn't normally know about like a lot of the times when people people are walking down in front of me now i'll show you because you won't be able to see them anyway people across the road they're walking the dogs uh, there is one bloke there in the black jacket basically in the middle now he looked up at the crane a couple of times, but most people wouldn't even bother looking up at the crane. He's looking now, see? <laughs> if I wave, sometimes I get a reaction. Hey up! Hey on, mate! No, uh, nothing. Right, so this is it. This is my final lift on the on my job here in uh, in Tadley for uh, McCarthy Stone. Yeah, this is this is it. This is my final. Fi I wasn't expecting this at all, to be honest. I thought I'd be here for you know a good a good eight months at least, knock it out of the park, and then straight onto another site somewhere. But uh, yeah, these these things these things happen. So that's one of the things about my job. I um, I never know where I'm going half the time I've, like I said I've worked all over the country again I'll, 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 I'll get into detail about it all I've I've written um, like at least 40 ideas for different subjects different different videos I can do throughout the time of just sitting here there's nothing to stop me just doing this just put put the uh, GoPro next to the window press record and talk to you while I'm doing a lift so you can see what I'm doing but yeah this is my final lift here so i just landed some blocks with the brick forks just pulling those out now you can see me banksman waving his arms he's telling me signaling me to go up obviously forks behind the white container chain i uh, no one just <laughs> no comprende no comprende yeah he's um yeah from croatia i thought he pretty much said he was down near the white something or other but yeah this is this is it putting the forks away 
I take the chains off and then I climb down um, like I said I won't I won't show you the rest of the um, like the rest of it closing down in that and then so the next video after this will be from a brand new site um, I'll, I'll probably try and climb the crane um, with the GoPro attached to me somehow like I said I need to try and get some sticky labels because I got some mounts some cheap mounts and um, you know just some cheap stuff off Amazon and it's terrible you know you don't ever buy stuff off Amazon for GoPros always get the official stuff um, but yeah it's got some mounts in the case that, that, that you get and there's no uh, there's no there's no 3M sticky pads on the back of it so you can't you can't stick them to anything so they're useless unless there's some in the pack and I've not seen then you've got to attach them yourselves but yeah this is it so just dropping my chains down and you can see from the zoomed in image zoomed in image these have um a limit switch. And if Philippe was asking for you to come down as quick as you can. No problem. Oh, <laughs> he's from Colombia. The site seeing the guy with the uh, the yellow jacket on. He's from Colombia, so he's this is his first job here. Well, not in the UK, but for this company anyway. And there you go. <laughs> That's how you finish a job. I'll get a thank you when I. Uh, go into the office but yeah that's it that's how you finish your job so you yeah you will be seeing this type of video for a while now as a block up now is what you call at the end of the shift blocking up so there's no chain we don't leave the chains on there hidden away secure probably the chains I'll just drop will probably go in the container in a minute all locked away cranes locked away keep everything nice and safe the site's all safe there's security cameras all around it you know so it's a pretty pretty safe zone these days especially for construction sites and yeah I do get emotional at the end of the jobs but I've only been here a month on this one so I haven't got that attachment it's like anyone that's got in, that's enthusiastic about anything really um, you know if you're into coasters and stuff like that and um, one of your favourite ride closes and you don't get to go on it again it's, it's like that you know I've enjoyed it here on this job it's been really nice yeah so uh, yeah I hope you've enjoyed the journey so far so because what I've filmed has been from this site here in Tadley again if you don't know where that is it's near Reading uh, on a little McCarthy Stone job um, yeah they're not the longest jobs take about uh, six eight months or something like that to complete it but yeah I'll probably come back here in the future and, and see what I've, I've started to build but there you go that's it my banksman's off my slinger's gone he's out the gate and um, but yeah I'll uh, I'll yeah stay safe I'll see you soon